What up, what up, what up, guys? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about regenerative braking. What is for, how to use it, and what are the benefits, all right? So let's talk about the benefits. In using it, it helps you uh, charge the batteries. Really good is like the best way to charge your battery in your car, all right? As you can see right now, the battery is still cold. I just got in the car. So in, in park, you can't, you can't use it. You gotta be in drive in order to cut it on, all right? Now, let's not get it twisted. It takes some time getting used to because we're accustomed to hitting the gas, hitting the brake, hitting the gas, hitting the brake, right? So, and with regenerative braking, you don't have to brake as much. So that means less wear and tear on your brakes because the car is doing all the hard work for you. Now, let me show you. So, like I said, you, it won't do it while I'm in park, even if I hold it, okay? So you gotta be in drive. So I'll put it in drive. I'll hold it. Wait until the M pops up, okay? Once you see that the M popped up, what you did, what you want to do now is it's already at setting three. So if you want to go more, you just hit the negative one. And I started off really like driving with one, but now I'm like at six full. Like I like it aggressive because if I'm driving fast, I don't have to hit my brakes in order to, you know, if I'm hitting a corner fast, I don't have to hit, have to hit my brakes as hard. It literally starts to slow down right away for me. So once you get used to driving, I promise you six is the better option because you really start you really start to get into that that one pedal driving. All right. Kind of like Tesla. Well, everybody's getting it from Tesla, because if you ever drove a Tesla, Tesla does this like Tesla has it set up automatically in their car. And it's amazing. All right. It's amazing. But it's how you charge your battery, too. OK, so let's see if I could drive around this park a lot and show you guys what I mean. All right. So. I'm in it. I'm in drive already. I got it aggressive, but watch the power flow. So anytime you see the green going straight down, it means it's charging. Whatever you're doing in your car is now charging your battery. All right. So once again, the regenerative braking is set up to help you not break as much, but also it charges the battery for you um, a lot. All right. So let's see. So now. So you see it, turn that real quick. Let's go a little faster real quick. Make sure nobody coming. So now look, I'm not even breaking. I'm literally on, oh, let me put my, put my seatbelt on. So you see now it's charging. Sorry about that. My seatbelt on. All right, brake hold. Ha, my favorite thing, boy, I love brake hold. That is a game changer. All right, let's do it. So let's drive. Let me turn real quick. So if I drive, see, I got a six. I'm already stopping. And you see how it's charging my battery fully. All right, just by stopping. So let's drive. No brake. No brake. That's all regenerative braking right there. Look how I'm getting that charge at the same time though. I'm not hitting my brake at all. Got a stop sign coming up. I'm just gonna. This brake. It is charging my battery. It's amazing, man. It takes some time getting used to because it's aggressive. It's it's uh literally what you're not used to. But if you can just, all you have to do, what I started doing was I literally just started leaving my foot on the gas. Once again, we're used to like breaking ourselves. We're used to taking our foot off the gas in order to stop the car. Now you don't have to do that. So six may seem aggressive to start off with, but when I tell you that my foot has, since I, I started this video, has not touched the brake. Right, so I am literally leaving my foot on the gas and the same way you will let your foot off the gas to let it drift normally, I'm doing the same thing, but it's breaking for me. Now, don't get it twisted. You'll probably, you'll more than likely still have to hit your brake, 
but you don't have to hit it as much. You don't have to be as hard or uh, as aggressive with uh, with breaking yourself. You let the car do that for you. All right. So let me let me know what option or what setting you guys keep it on. I like to keep mine on six now because I'm getting used to uh, used to it and I understand the benefits of it. And if I can save some money without having to change my brakes all the time, right? If I can save energy and frustration of having to brake, because I like to drive fast, man. Like I, I got this Honda for a reason. Now, no, we we all know it's not a sports car. So everybody's about to come into the comments and talk about how it ain't got the 2.0 turbo no more. This car is still pretty fast, bro. It, it actually has nice tor uh, to uh, torque, right? So all y'all stop that. This car is amazing. It drives amazingly smooth. It is still fast. It is not your race car, but this car is not meant to be a race car. This car is meant to, to give you luxury, to give you that sporty look, and to give you class at the same time. All right, to help you with your driving, and to make it you know more efficient with the gas i think everybody wants that right like i mean maybe everybody doesn't want that but if this is your main car and this is my main car i want that so when i fill out my tank and i see 555 miles to the, to the gallon I, I i like that i ain't never seen that before you get what i'm saying so once again with the regenerative you just hold it until that end pops up and it stays all right now, if you put your car in reverse, then you'll have to reset it. If you put on the, the lane assist and the cruise control, you'll have to reset it, all right, every time. It won't save, so every time you get in your car to start your car, you have to do it again. And that's cool, you just hold it. You pick your setting. If you want three, four, five, six, you just keep hitting the minus. If you wanna take some off, then you hit the plus, and then it takes it off, all right? that's it if you guys have any more questions about the regenerative braking let me know let me know y'all favorite settings in the comments uh let me know how long it took you to get used to it because it took me some time to get used to it i started off really like just on four because i was used to like uh just drifting and it still does drift depending on your speed so if you're going fast when you let go it's not going to just stop super fast on you it's still going to drift but you're not going to have to hit the brake as much. I can't explain to you how amazing that is if you're hitting a corner pretty fast and you don't have to hurry up and tap the brake or you don't have to ride the brake at all, right? You literally just let your foot off the gas, keep your foot on the gas, and it's braking for you. And once again, you're saving uh, your miles per gallon because you're not being aggressive yourself. The car's doing all the dirty work for you, and it's just so much easier. All right, so let me know what you guys think. Until next time, guess what? Uh -huh. All I wanted was to be more, uh. Grew up in the city, call it be more, yeah.